inside. You. It had to be your soul. Coming to the Salt Flats is a lifetime experience. You'll never forget it. This is a national treasure. Nowhere in the world would you find the Salt Flats. This is it. Everybody has a different idea how to go fast. No commercialism like drag racing or NASCAR. There's one snack bar and that's it. It's perfect. Car number 551, two mile at 164.6. You need something in your heart to stay here, to like it. I think it's a drop. Bonneville is the purest form of motorsports. You can walk up and talk to somebody and be this far away from when they're mixing nitro, you know what I mean? You can't get that close Formula One, you can't get that close to NASCAR. into something, building a birdhouse, uh, going on a dog show, whatever. But you grow old if you don't do something. And if you're doing something involved in it, you never grow old. You know, you got to have a little bit of a challenge in life. I mean, talking about easy rider, try that shit at 155 miles an hour, and I know you're gonna bleep that, but I hope it'll run 180 plus. But I hear the problem. I ain't been out here in a few years, and I got dings on my license. So this run, I can I can't run over 150, or they I'll get a uh, chewing out problem. <laughs> Actually, it, it had an overall flashing at 85 whenever I got it. And I sent it back to them because you can't read the speedometer past 85 if it's flashing at you. They took that all out and sent it back. And, they, and I said, what's the limit on it now? And they said, it ain't limited. I said, good deal. We're ready. I don't have my motorcycle license. I've had my regular driver's license for two months, maybe. On the salt, my top speed was 133. My dad's taught me pretty well. He's taught me everything I know, so he's kind of taught me not really to be scared of it. Since before I was born, I've been out on the drag strip with him since I was a baby. And I've just been brought up around the racing community, so. Ever since I could talk, I've always talked about how I wanted to race, and now I'm getting to live my dream. My nephew gave me the boat. Um, I needed a boat like I needed to be pregnant, so I made a car out of it. Did you race at the salt flats or for what? <laughs> no, I don't race anything. 
<laughs> uh, the human race I'm having trouble keeping up with. Um, but uh, no, this is just purely for fun. It's, uh, taking a bunch of parts and pieces I had and things that people gave me. This is the anchor. It's a broken Chevrolet crankshaft. Another friend gave me the little light up front that comes on when you the boat light. It comes on when you turn the, the lights on. This just, when you push it, it's just turning it on its own. I need to oil it. <laughs> a little bit grease. The salt is a little tough on this yeah. thing. I was racing about 18 years. Every year. I take my wife and my, my kid and, and we have two two pieces of bags each. I have two wheels in my bags and I think my wife have the frame in one bag. Yeah. But when I, I get the old, I must quit with that. The young guy is going to beat me the whole time. <laughs> so then I, I stop with that and I say, what should I do now? Should I kill myself or what should I do? <laughs> When you have done it, when you have done a real good run, and when you when you cut off and you know it, yes, that's the feeling. My full name is Thomas Park Pycroft. I'm from Germany. I catch the virus of speed. So I come back and back and back again. The last peaceful place on earth. Everybody helps everybody. If you've been in trouble here, you have a problem, they will come along and will help you. Yeah, we have fun, we enjoy it. When we have a record, wonderful. If you have no record, we had fun to race the car and have fun with the whole big family on the song. It's one of these situations, the experience of life says, before you make a decision, just say yes. But see if you say no, someone's going to jump in, right in, take your place, and you won't have time to change your mind and say yes. I said yes. And although never, by the way, must caution you ladies and gentlemen, if you're observing this, uh, motorbikes and whiskey are great things, but keep them separate. Except for being in my shop with my hound dog laying on the floor and, and myself listening to some kind of music and working on my car, this is the greatest place on earth. I come back here, I'll come back here as long as I live. The end of the road, when they turn me to dust, this is where I'm gonna end up. Everybody out here is so nice. Everybody out here is so nice. I've never had a bad time out here or run into anybody of, of questionable character. You know, they're just, that's what the rest of the world should, should be like. If everybody treated everybody else like everybody treats everybody here, we'd be great. <laughs>